Hello, and welcome to the Honeywell Max Pro Cloud how-to video series. In this video, we're going to provide an overview of the IPCOM module, its features in Max Pro Cloud, and installation information. The IPCOM is a device that allows integration of a Vista Turbo commercial security panel with Max Pro Cloud. This enables real-time viewing of activity on the system and remote arming and disarming of areas either from the Max Pro Cloud website or mobile app. Zone and area information is uploaded from the panel and zones may then be populated as points on a site's floor plan. Areas then may be interacted with on the visual management page. Rules may also be set in Max Pro Cloud to arm or disarm areas on the Vista panel based on events from other devices. Events on the Vista panel, such as a zone alarm, may also be used as triggers in rules to automatically initiate an action on another device, such as locking a door on a Net Access 123 panel on the same site. Please note that programming within the Vista panel cannot be done for Max Pro Cloud using the IPCOM. Also, the IPCOM is not for alarm reporting and is not a replacement for a communication path to a central monitoring station. However, the module does not interfere with this functionality on the Vista panel. The IPCOM is compatible with any Vista Turbo panel, including the fire panels, so any model of Vista, BPT, or FBPT will work. The module fits inside the panel cabinet and attaches to the top. Power is provided by the Vista panel's aux power from the ECP bus using a 4-pin connector harness supplied with the module. The IPCOM utilizes the Vista Turbo panel's onboard RS-232 connection for communication with the panel and connects using the VT serial cable which is also supplied. One end of the cable plugs into the DB9 connection on the module, while the other end fits onto the 10-pin connection on the Vista panel, red wire on the left. This is labeled as J9 on BPT panels or J13 on FBPT panels. To communicate with Max Pro Cloud, an Ethernet connection to the internet must also be provided. The IPCOM uses DHCP only. Some minor programming must be enabled within the Vista panel for the IPCOM and Vista to communicate via the RS-232 connection. Please enable the following listed fields with the specified entries. These may also be found listed in the IPCOM installation instructions. Upon exiting programming, it is also necessary to ensure that the time and date within the Vista panel are correct. If they are incorrect, it can prevent the module from successfully registering with Max Pro Cloud. Check this by entering the installer or master code pound 63. This concludes the overview of the IPCOM module. Please see other videos about the IPCOM for additional assistance with enrolling the module in Max Pro Cloud and troubleshooting tips. Additional resources may also be found at HoneywellDiscoverTraining.com. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.